The NLB NCG 8450A-3 hand lance and the NLB 8488 bimode valve work in concert to provide a rotating source of high pressure water. This video will instruct you in the proper procedure for connecting these two tools. The first step is to connect the DM14150 hose assembly to the hand lance. This hose conveys not only the high pressure water to the lance, but it carries the high pressure air line and an air signal line. To begin, apply anti-seize to the high pressure water connection point on the lance. Once this is done, thread the high pressure supply line onto the fitting. Then, snug the two together using wrenches. Next, connect the high pressure air line to the lance as shown and tighten it with a wrench. The DM14150 hose assembly includes a safety shroud with a metal guard on the end. This guard is designed to encase the high pressure fittings and will minimize the effects of any leaks that may occur. With the guard in place, tighten the two screws. Now, attach the air signal line to the front trigger assembly on the hand lance. This is a quick coupling and only requires the air signal line to be pushed into its receptacle. You can give the hose a slight tug to ensure that it is correctly installed. A close inspection of the front trigger assembly shows the labels that designate the two ports. The air motor port is connected to the rear handle and trigger assembly via a black hose. The bi-mode port is connected to the bi-mode via the blue air signal line. With these connections made, let's take a look at the path that the air takes during operation. The air comes into the hand lance via the black supply line which is attached here. When the rear trigger is depressed, the air motor begins to spin and the air is passed through to the front trigger assembly via this signal line. Actuating the front trigger assembly allows air to travel down the blue signal line back to the bi mode, causing high pressure water to travel through and then out of the hand lance. While the previous sequence correctly shows the path of the air through the system, it does not depict the correct sequence for starting or stopping the system. Because rotating the lance without water present in the system can lead to premature seal failure, it's important to first actuate the front trigger and then the rear trigger when starting the blasting process. Conversely, when stopping the flow of high pressure water, it's important to first release the rear trigger and then the front trigger. Again, in both of these instances, the goal is to never have the lance rotating without the presence of water. The speed of the nozzle rotation is controlled via this knob located on the bottom of the hand lance. Turning the knob in a counterclockwise motion will result in increased rotational speed, while turning it in a counterclockwise motion will result in slower rotational speed. Next, we'll attach the opposite end of the DM14150 hose assembly to the bi-mode valve. First, we'll connect the black air supply line to the bi-mode. Loosely tighten it with your fingers and then use a wrench. Now, connect the blue air signal line to the bi mode as shown. To connect the high pressure water supply line, first apply anti seize to the threads and then screw the fitting on. Snug this connection with a wrench. This completes the procedure of connecting an NCG 8450A 3 hand lance to an NLB 8488 bi-mode valve.